If the Indiana Jones movies have taught us anything, it's that being an archaeologist is cool. And not only because you get to wear a cool hat and hang out with other cool people, but because an archaeologist gets to unearth long-lost pieces of human history. And some of it is as amazing as the latest Indiana Jones movie. These are the 20 greatest archaeological discoveries ever. Number 20. 3,000-year-old mummy. Whether you like horror movies or not, you cannot deny that mummies are a key figure that has grown in pop culture due to all the mummies that have been found in real life. One such mummy was that of Nesiamun, a priest who was attached to the Temple of Thebes once upon a time. After his death, he would be granted mummification and was left to be with the earth. However, 3,000 years later, scientists discovered his body and then went to a 3D printer alongside other devices to help to recreate the voice of the priest. Granted, it's not as striking as how Mummy Queen looked when she was alive, but that's still pretty cool. Don't expect to hear a greatest hits track from the mummy anytime soon, but they were able to get a sound or two from this process. So now imagine if we could get whole voices from fallen figures to know how they sounded like when they were alive. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. After archaeologists unearthed the Mummy Queen tie, they decided to use modern techniques to do something incredible. They decided to try and recreate how this Mummy Queen looked when she was alive. And if you don't know, she was the royal wife of Amenhotep III, and you might know her best as the grandmother of the famous pharaoh of them all, the one and only Tutankhamun. These experts studied her corpse and then used tools like Photoshop to try and recreate what they thought that she may have looked like before the entire decaying thing happened. It's truly a stunning process that helps to illuminate history in an unprecedented way. So odd, but so wonderful to see people of the past humanized in a way that makes them so profoundly real, in a way that just reading about them in a book never could truly capture. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Pompeii. From a person that was buried to a city that was buried, we'll now talk about the legend that is Pompeii. A place that's so famous that it inspired culture both big and small in a grand way, mainly because we've never seen something like this in the modern times. By that, I mean a natural disaster being so grand that it literally wiped a place off the map. We've seen places become destroyed by natural disasters or even ruined by them, but to be completely consumed by one is a feat of mythical proportions. The legendary volcano Vesuvius that took the city erupted in 79 AD, and it didn't hold anything back. That eruption would be so incredible that it everyone within its path and then buried them whole in a wave of soot and ash and smoke. By the time that it was done, the city had been buried alive, waiting for history to find it once again. That would not happen for almost another 1700 years, as an engineer was in Italy where Pompeii was and accidentally discovered it. Since then, archaeologists have gone to the area to learn whatever they can about Pompeii, its people, and what other things that could be learned about the legendary eruption. Some of the things that were found within the city after it had been rediscovered were not only buildings, it was another version of mummified people. The soot and ash preserved the bodies so well that they were almost like statues when they were found. You can easily see why this is one of the greatest archaeological finds ever. This was a city that was lost to time and then rediscovered almost two millennia later. It's possible that we may still not know everything that went down in this city when the volcano erupted, but at the very least, we've brought it back to life and people from all over the world come to Pompeii to be part of its living history. Number 18. Olduvai Gorge 
Ancient history comes in many forms. After all, our world is full of ages and eras, things that have changed and evolved over time. And that's why Olduvai Gorge is so important to the scientific community, because it's here in this vast expanse that we've discovered plenty of remains of primitive humans. And if you don't believe me, some of the fossils that have been found come from a previous version of humans that existed nearly 2 million years ago, and that's only some of the fossils that have been discovered there. Through these many finds, we are able to learn about the previous versions of humanity and how we've evolved from them. It also helps to straighten out the ever-evolving timeline of humanity all throughout the ages. This gorge will continue to be investigated so that we can hopefully find the next big clue about our evolutionary process within. Number 17. The Lost City of Troy History is full of places that are of great significance in one form or another. Whether they survive the trip through time is another matter entirely, and equally as important, whether their legends or makeup is something that is true to the stories that have been told about them remains to be seen until we dive deep into their legend. An excellent example of this can be found in the lost city of Troy. To those who know Greek mythology, you know that Troy was the city that was the focus of the Trojan War, where the two sides battled for the woman known as Helen of Troy. Long story short, the gods tried to win a contest between themselves by having a human pick a blessing from one of them. He chose to have the most beautiful woman in the world to be his wife, and that would be Helen, who turned out to be a bad choice because she was already married to another man, and that began a war that would involve the gods and men. Eventually, the Trojan horse was brought in and ended the war, but despite the story being legendary, many people weren't actually sure that Troy really existed, let alone that a battle of any kind with or without the gods was fought there. Many felt that they had found Troy over the years, but there was no actual proof, and eventually it would be determined that a city in Turkey was likely the true birthplace of Troy. But therein lies another twist of history, because Troy, if it really was Troy, was built up and destroyed multiple times over the millennia, to the point where archaeologists numbered the layers of the city as they found new parts of it. But before you ask, no, the Trojan horse was never found, but could you imagine if it was? Number 16. The Terracotta Army as I've already touched upon, the afterlife is something that many cultures both fear and respect in various ways. Multiple cultures do various acts to ensure that the people that they bury are protected or have wealth within the afterlife. An excellent example can be found in one of the greatest treasures of China, the Terracotta Army. As the name implies, these are terracotta statues that were handcrafted one at a time and then placed inside of the tomb of the very first emperor of China. And by that, I mean the first emperor who united all all of China under one banner. These statues were made for him so that he would have some protection in the afterlife or have an army to command should he need it. But it wasn't only soldiers that were created, there were chariots and horses as well. Think about all of the effort and work that would go into making a single statue worthy of an emperor, and now imagine making 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, and 520 horses just to please the fallen man. There's dedication, and then there's this. Now remember, this was a time when mass production was not something you could just do unless you had a massive amount of people at your beck and call to get the things accomplished that you wanted. So, finding these after 2,000 years and finding them in such a pristine condition is truly a marvel of engineering and luck. And if you're curious, the tomb that they protect has not been opened by archaeologists. This is partially because of the Chinese government who refused to have it be opened. But the other part is due to the tomb being sealed. Opening it could damage the remains of the emperor or whatever else may be lurking inside. So for now, we'll have to settle for this army, and that's a mighty fine settlement to have. Number 15. The Antikythera Mechanism one of the things that has baffled people who studied history for ages is that the ancient cultures of the world seem to have a knack for doing things well above their scientific level, meaning that they could achieve things that even with modern technology could take some time, but they were able to do it as though it were nothing. One such artifact is that of the Antikythera mechanism. It's continued to baffle people on this topic. The device would be recovered from a Greek shipwreck over 120 years ago, and it was apparently used by 
by sailors to help calculate when things like solar eclipses and other astronomical events would occur in the sky. While it was found, it did not fully survive, so many are not sure how it worked. But another problem is that they're not sure why the Greeks even built it in the first place. Yes, I talked about its purpose, as it's understood, but why did the Greeks think that sailors needed this device? Furthermore, many people have determined that this was a kind of analog computer due to the calculations that it had to make. So how did the Greeks come up with the processes to make such a device? Well, nobody really knows, and because of the state of the mechanism itself, no one's really likely to find out. Scientists have tried to use 3D modeling software to fix all of the holes in what we do know about the device, but we've only had limited success. It also doesn't help that this is the only device of its kind that has been recovered. If we had more, we could have more of an idea of what the Greeks did, but until then, we'll have to simply marvel at the device that they made. Number 14. Mohenjo Daro you are going to see several cities on this list that have a certain place in history. And by that, I mean how certain cities have been around for much longer than you realize. One such place is Mohenjo-Daro, a city in Pakistan that claims to be from 2500 BC. What made this city stand out back in its prime was how advanced that it was. It had many engineering qualities that you would find in a modern city, like streets and plumbing and more. So you may be wondering why you've not heard of this marvel of a city before. Well, that would be because, 600 years after being built, it was then simply abandoned, and it would not be until the 1920s that it was rediscovered and made into a World Heritage Site. Better late than never, right? Number 13. Otzi the Iceman there's a reason why mummies of all kinds are historic finds. First, they often hide details and clues of the past within their various forms. Second, depending on where you find them, they can be from all walks of life. And third, many people would actually love to stumble upon a mummy, so long as it doesn't try to kill them. In September of 1991, Helmut and Erika Simon were climbing the Alps that were located along the border of Austria and Italy near the idyllic town of Innsbruck. They were German tourists on a pleasant day hunt but when the couple decided to head off the beaten path between the mountain passes, they then received the shock of their lives. Because to their eyes, they had found a dead hiker. The person was buried in the snow and ice, and they rushed to get them out, but when they couldn't, they told others what they had found and then tried to get it out. But it was in that desire to get the person out of that predicament that they realized this was no ordinary hiker. It was someone who was much, much older. The Simons had just discovered the oldest natural mummy in all of Europe, preserved in ice. And by natural mummy, I mean one that was caused by the elements instead of man. A key difference when you're talking about mummification. Due to the history surrounding him, Atsi the Iceman, as he would become named, was a fixation for many scientists and archaeologists. Through the study of his body, scientists were able to tell who he was in the general sense, how old he was when he died, and could even see what he had eaten before he perished. As for how he had perished, further examinations would point to him being murdered, which is rather grim, but but sadly, something that happens all the time, no matter what time period you may be living in. Number 12. Knossos this is yet another in the long list of very old cities known as Knossos and is known to be the oldest city in all of Europe. But here's the thing, we only refer to Knossos as a Greek entity because of where it's located and how its name is from the Greek word for the place. In truth, though, this was a place settled by the Minoan people and was a key place in their culture. However, not unlike many ancient cities and cultures, the place was eventually abandoned and no one is exactly sure why. But what we do know is that it happened at the end of the Bronze Age. Many legends were made about the city that was there, which included how it was the home of the infamous Minotaur. Number 11. Madaba Map Imagine this, you're doing some work on a church to make way for a new one that's being built in the same spot, and as you work on the floor, you uncover a mosaic. That would already be pretty cool, but as you get a closer look, you realize that it's not just a picture, that it's actually a map. <laughs> 
Specifically, it's a map of the Middle East from the 6th century, and it's an incredibly detailed one at that. This would be found in Madaba and thus became known as the Madaba map. Many people have loved to look at this map because of how it depicts the state of Jerusalem and the Holy Land during that period of time. Plus, it has locations on it that directly correlate with the Christian Bible. So, they went to build something new, and they found something old and priceless. Number 10. Sutton Hu Something that you'll learn rather quickly in archaeology is that anything can be buried anywhere if your timing and luck are on point. For example, in England, there was a place called Sutton Hoo that was owned by someone who was curious about the burial mounds on their land. They brought in a local archaeologist to look into what was buried below, and boy were they in for a shock. Because not only did they find artifacts from the Anglo-Saxon era of England, they found an entire ship buried underneath the ground. Naturally, once the items of such importance were discovered, they then called in the big guns to help unearth even more rare artifacts. That also included pieces of armor that were made out of gold. It makes you want to dig up your own yard to see what might be under it. Number 9. The Library of Ashurbanipal no matter what age you may be fascinated with, libraries have likely played a key part in your interest. You know, so long as it's a period where writing books were around, it was these places that would hold the wisdom of many cultures, so finding an ancient one, like the Library of Ashurbanipal, is indeed a legendary discovery. English historian and traveler Austin Henry Layard found the ancient library in the remains of a palace in 1849. It would consist of over 30,000 clay tablets, which would provide provide an enormous wealth of information relating to the ancient civilizations of the Middle East. And if you think about that for a moment, it's a library containing untold amounts of information about cultures from the Middle East, and you could study that for years upon years and still not learn everything. It even had the epic Gilgamesh within, one of the oldest pieces of literature to have existed. Number 8. Lucy Lucy, as she became known, was a very important find that helped to establish the missing link in the evolution of humanity. She was said to have been 3.2 million years old, and thanks to how complete her remains were, she would help showcase how humans had evolved into bipedal states and how their brains had evolved as well. And yes, she was indeed named after the famous Beatles song that the team had been playing as they researched her. That's part of the reason why Lucy is such a popular name when it comes to rare finds. However, she did not have any diamonds, so make of that what you will. Number 7. Richard III's Grave when you think about the leaders throughout history, you're often told that their burials are treated with the utmost respect and dignity. But that's not exactly the case, including with some of the most famous leaders we've ever unearthed. For proof of this, you can look no further than the burial of King Richard III in England. He was the last leader the name had during the Wars of the Roses, and after his death on the battlefield, he was basically just dumped at a friary, one that eventually was dissolved, and then his body was left in the ground without any real ceremony. His burial would take place in 1485, and it would not be until 2012 that things finally turned around and he was found after an extensive search for his remains. After it was verified to be him, he was then buried with the blessing of the English church at a cathedral. So again, better late than never. Number 6. Staffordshire Hoard in truth, any of the items that we've mentioned on this list could be listed as a valuable treasure for one reason or another. But when it comes to the Staffordshire Hoard, we can define this one in a more literal way, as it's an actual treasure hoard and one that surprised many people when it was discovered. The Staffordshire Hoard is the largest hoard of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver metalwork yet found. It consists of almost 4,600 items and metal fragments and was valued at over 3 million euros. Now for context, once the hoard was was found, it accounted for about 60% of all items from this period in English history. 
What also shocked people about the discovery was the items themselves. Many agree that they are martial in nature, but yet they weren't comprised of items you typically connect with women. Adding to that, the quality of the items was so high that it became clear that this was a very special set of items. Some even said that the items were deliberately put into the hoard for preservation, further adding to the mystery and wonder of the set. No matter what the truth is about this hoard, it is now in a museum where many would agree it belongs. One can only wonder if other hoards like this exist out there in the world. Number 5. Cave of Altamira Caves often hold many wonders of human history, if you know where to look for them, and the Cave of Altamira in Spain is a perfect example of that. Within it, you're going to find some cave paintings of not only humans, but also animals. But why is this so important? Well, that's because they would be dated back to between 14,000 and 20,000 years ago, if not further. Back in that time period, when it was felt that humanity was at a period of its evolution, could not do art. So here it is for all to see. While some people were skeptical of this belief at first, it would eventually be proven, and once again, leaving everyone to wonder just how advanced humanity was at certain points within its timeline. Number 4. The Rosetta Stone if you think about the world that we're in right now, there are few hurdles that we can't overcome with the right technology. But back in ancient times, even the most basic of things for life itself was often a mystery to other cultures had they come across them. An example, language. If in ancient times a man from Africa met a woman from China and they only spoke their native tongues, how would they be able to communicate? Building language bridges between cultures was one of the most important things that humanity ever did, and it's punctuated with the discovery of the Rosetta Stone. Dating back to 196 BC, the Rosetta Stone was inscribed with a decree from the king at the time, inscribed in three languages being ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, Demotic script, and ancient Greek. So why is this so important? Well, put simply, it was the basis for understanding the Egyptian language that was hieroglyphics. The language had been a mystery to outsiders, and they could not figure out what they meant or even find a starting point to try and piece the things together. Thankfully though, through the Rosetta Stone, they were able to see how one translated to another language of the Egyptians, and then into Greek, which was much more well known at the time. Because of that one stone, we learned so much about Egyptian culture that might have been lost to time without it, all because of a rock that was inscribed with a decree that was buried until invading forces discovered it. What a world we live in! And of course, the term Rosetta Stone often refers to a way to translate things from one language into another. Number 3. Easter Island Statues it's always fascinating to see how an entire culture can sometimes mystify people who are not privy to its secrets. For decades now, Easter Island has been home to some of the biggest mysteries of the world because of the larger-than-life legends that people have built around its inhabitants, the Rapa Nui. When people think about Easter Island, they often go straight to the legend of the Moai statues, which is not a hard thing to picture because they are so massive. They aren't just heads, as you may think. They do have bodies, and they're buried deep within the dirt. That's how the construction of these statues are still a mystery, but it was only recently that the why of them doing it would come to light. After all, there are almost 900 of these statues that are scattered out all over the island, and no one really knew why they were there in the first place. That is, until people began to examine what was in the ground around them, and that would be water fresh water at that. It's now believed that the people of the island mark these spots so that they could always know where the fresh water was and grow their crops in those places to get water when needed. It's still a mystery how they made so many statues and got them into the ground given their size, but we'll take it one mystery at a time. Number 2. The Dead Sea Scrolls Religious artifacts are easily one of the most important things that you can find in the archaeological sense, not only because they can show the culture's belief in a god or many gods, but they're often tied to key periods of history or figures that define those time periods. Enter the Dead Sea Scrolls, easily one of the biggest and most vital archaeological texts in history, because these were the pages of the Hebrew Bible that were made in ancient times. The Dead Sea Scrolls are a collection of 800 or more manuscripts that were found in 11 cases caves by accident, depicting many of the books that were made before the birth of Jesus Christ. They even say that it was 700 years before his birth. 
written mostly in Hebrew, the Dead Sea Scrolls are some of the oldest Abrahamic religious texts in existence, further making them some of the most important artifacts ever uncovered. And while the first pages of the scrolls would be discovered on accident, it would open up a frenzy to find more, and more were indeed found, making them more complete and able to be examined in greater depth. The scrolls are so significant because they've allowed historians and theologians to chart the development of the Bible much more accurately and provided new information about the dawn of Christianity thousands of years ago, as well as the history of Judaism and the Holy Land. Could you imagine if a complete Bible from ancient times was able to be discovered? The term life-changing would not even begin to cover it. Number 1. King Tut's Tomb is there really any other item that we could have put at the top of this list? After all, how many people truly cared about Egyptian history and its mythology before King Tut was discovered in his tomb? Found in the Valley of the Kings, it was Howard Carter and George Herbert's discovery of the tomb in 1922 that would spark a massive surge to Egypt to learn more about not only the tomb, but the entire history of the nation that was once one of the most dominant empires of the world. Part of the reason for that drive was the tomb was remarkably intact, but what really got people's interest was that the tomb contained over 2,000 artifacts, despite it being rather small compared to other pharaohs. Immediately, people wanted to know more, and that led to certain acts being done to help keep things safe. You know the curse of King Tut's tomb? Well, the archaeology team actually made that up so that grave robbers would stay the heck away from the tomb, and it worked and still endures to this day. But what also endures is the mysteries that surround the tomb. We still don't know certain things about King Tut, his life and death, and why he was buried in a certain way, his family, and more. And that's the mystery that keeps on bringing people back to the table and the tomb itself. That's all from the realm of archaeology and some of the greatest historical finds of all time. Which of these finds do you remember learning about and thinking that they were really amazing? And do you wish that you could learn more about these finds or even go and see them for yourself? What other archaeological finds do you think may be out there just waiting to be discovered? Let us know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out all of the other cool things that are currently showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.